Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the Jack Atlas aftermarket kit. Here are the metrics for the Jack Atlas without any other attachments on the AMR9. You can see damage, fire rate, range, and recoil are affected. Is this the murder machine? Everybody saying it is in the clickbait titles. Let's have a deeper look at it. Comparing the Jack Atlas damage to a vanilla AMR9, the damage has decreased significantly. This is a burst weapon, five shot bursts. So in a five shot burst inside the minimum damage range, it appears to be a one shot burst kill. Significant decrease in the amount of damage for the headshots. It goes down three full points in the upper torso, the lower torso, and in the upper legs. And you can see that yea verily, inside the minimum effective range or effective damage range it is a one burst kill beyond that two sometimes three bursts because of the recoil if you look at the range 15.2 meters that's an increase over 14 minimum damage range is up 14 percent and bullet velocity significantly increased 800 12.5 meters per second but the rate of fire is decreased and when you're talking effective damage range when you're talking minimum damage range that rate of fire has a lot to do with how quickly you gack the enemy as far as recoil control a significant upgrade from uh, the vanilla amr9 Recoil gun kick significantly decreased, but it's still a lot at almost 40 degrees per second, as is the vertical recoil down to around 30 degrees per second from the vanilla 37 degrees per second. So it's going to be a bit ac more accurate weapon, but the idle sway is absolutely atrocious with it. So you have to keep that in mind. So let's take this Jack Atlas onto the field of honor and see if it is the meta busting weapon the clickbait titles are saying that it is. All right, let's take it on the road. Free for all. First kill, people always spawn in the same spot. And the aim down sight speed is excellent due to the other, the jack stock. So it moves like an SMG, there's no doubt of that. It, the, what's weird about this pulse weapon is that you can hold down the trigger and it will continue to pulse. It just seemed to me to take a little more shooting, a little more impact of bullets than I expected to get the GAC. The GACs were expensive. The other thing about this weapon, you can see I'm just probably my aim at that point. But you have to switch the magazine very often with it because it shoots five rounds. It carries 30. Before you know it, you've, you've already shot 15 of them. And you only have three pulses left. And if anybody else comes onto the scene, you're standing there with a smile and an empty, almost empty weapon. So after every engagement, I needed to change out the magazine this wasn't a particularly satisfying free-for-all because as is common with this map people were camping probably two or three people running around everybody else was camping there somebody pitched a tent looking at the scenery aim down sight it's hard to tell what's going on behind you when you're doing that and I use covert sneakers. So Grandpa sneaks around. Now see, that took three pulses. Probably he was dead in two. But the third one, I, it, you just have to be quick to release the trigger. And you're already almost out of ammo. And you can't put a larger magazine on it. There you go again. I'm down to ten rounds. And ten rounds isn't good for an engagement, especially if you're strafing. Oh, I see somebody camping. He's monitoring the other side of the wall. 
Not a good thing to monitor. There we straight. Whoa, that guy just. Did he not see me? My gosh. Or was he confident that he was running fast enough that he could outrun the bullets? Those are the great mysteries in life to me. There's somebody up there, ADS, trying to rank up his sniper weapon. Going from forged or from, what is it, gilded to forged. Whoa, and there's more strafing side to side. I'm down to five rounds. So you can see holding down the trigger, you spit those bullets out in a hurry. And time's running out. We have only got 17 kills. I didn't get a good feel for what this weapon could do. Yeah, we won, but how can you call that a win when you only get to 17 kills? I didn't get a good feeling, like I said, for what this weapon could do. Um, at this point, I favored the AMR-9 without the attachment. Without the Jack Atlas. The Jack Cutthroat stock and the straight just... Uh, AMR-9 without the Jack Atlas, in my opinion, makes this weapon unbeatable. I'm not sure that it needed more to it. I got caught. I got caught at the table. Just trying to pick up a free lemonade, and I get gacked in the back. This lady was always lurking around corners, although that's not technically a corner. She was lurking around curves. But lurk up. Oh. Just ran past me. What do you think he was playing team deathmatch? Must have. Poor guy. And Grandpa's looking for the next victim, but they're not to be found. Oh, there's a victim. And you can see once again, start with 30 rounds in the magazine, and that's all you're going to get. Just a typical engagement. You empty half your magazine, so you, you've got to change it out. I felt like I didn't get any of those one round or one pulse gacks unless I was just absolutely at point blank. That was one, but it still still fired off two pulses. So a one pulse gack costs 10 bullets usually. There's somebody looking out the window. Very quickly shot off 25 rounds. So for somebody with my play style, I'm kind of naturally in an SMG guy play style. Even when I'm playing with a sniper rifle, I run around like this. And there was three pulses and probably the first pulse gacked. So I don't know if the software doesn't update fast enough with the gack sign or what, but uh, maybe it has to do with connection speed. I was kind of slow at around 70 milliseconds. But it's got the feeling that it took a lot of shooting to gack somebody. And you can see there, 15 rounds, and really I, I got fully 10 of them into the enemy. So is it a bug? Is it my play style? Is it just the way it is? There we go again. There were 10 rounds, and all 10 rounds went into the person. So maybe you have to confirm that there are pushing up daisies before you release the trigger. Of course, all of us have been gacked when we thought that somebody was had bought the farm and we didn't put that last bullet in them. Somebody's hiding in the corner of the bar. That's illegal unless you have a bartender's license. Whoa. Now, see, it worked well there with the hip shot. Straight as an arrow. I mean, I got several long shot kills when I was practicing. There was just bad shooting. Always oh, hiding. Somebody hiding behind the bar. Can't get away from that. Nope. I see dead people. Oh, oh, oh. It does help. Even if you use two pulses when you only need one, you're within 10, 15 feet. Person's laying down, 
they're going to be gacked in one pulse. The second pulse is for good measure and to empty out your magazine so another enemy, a buddy of his, can gack you. There you go. That was three pulses or 15 rounds. I think that's the big weakness of this weapon. If you can't tell already by my review, that you run out of ammunition quickly and you waste a lot of ammunition because you can't stop the pulse. I guess you can try to not hold down the trigger and wait and see what happens after one pulse, but then I tried that and it didn't seem to work too well. I seemed to be getting gacked. I'll let you know that I played about four or five after this of free for all and came in first or second and all of them with this weapon but then with the amr9 with just the jack cutthroat stock on it the extra ads speed the strafing speed i usually did a bit better than that the other thing i find that is that i didn't see him until he stood up i knew somebody was there i just didn't see him the other thing I, I got the feeling is that if someone came face to face with me, they usually won if we, if we shot at the same time. And that may have to do more with connection speed than the weapon. Like I said, I had a slow connection speed. And maybe that's why I didn't see the deaths and I wasted a lot of ammunition. I was constantly changing out. I never ran out of ammunition even when I got my longest streaks. That one there, I would have thought that I had won that engagement because there's five rounds right on the guy's torso. Final minute. So that's maybe why it felt a little underpowered to me. And, I, and I'll say it felt underpowered. I realized that other creators are creating the titles that it's the best weapon ever and that it's overpowered, but I just didn't get the feeling. I'm going to leave the Jack Cutthroat stock on and not mess with this one. But it was fun. Please like and subscribe. Peace.